lot of people don't know or don't want to learn about what they don't understand or what they're afraid of. A lot of people have seen some pictures of, of dead fish on the shore and completely turned off in their mind that that was ever going to be something of interest when, what, when that is actually what needs the most help and the most love. Um, a lot of it is a lack of education and I suspect that a good amount of it could have been tried to be covered up by different agencies that don't want to pay for it, that want us to overlook this gigantic health issue. If a lot of people in our state don't know what the biggest lake in the state is, we need to focus heavily on our educational system. It, it's something that's been begging to be done and just needs the political will to, to look into it. Perhaps you've heard about the complaints in Southern California. Skepticism and impatience are growing in the Imperial Valley. Time is now for action. Another year from now may be too late. I think it's time for a bipartisan Congress to prove that we'll finally get serious here and clean up the Salton Sea. Salton Sea is a place unlike anywhere most people have ever seen. It's a ocean-like lake in the middle of the desert, so you wouldn't necessarily expect it to be here. But when you come down and see it, it's, it's huge. It's 13 by 33 miles. Um, it, it's beautiful. Um, different times of, of day and night, there's every kind of color you can imagine in the sky, and it's absolutely breathtaking. It supports um, over 425 bird species. That's more than anywhere else in North America, except for maybe the Everglades, but it's immensely important for birds all over the world, from Asia to South America. They stop here, and they need this place. But it's getting very close to a kill point. Uh, most biologists who have studied this uh, figure that when the sea gets to be 6% salt, most of the fish in the sea will die. We're now at 5.5%. When I started working here 10 years ago, we were at 4.5%. So it's rising and it's getting really close to a critical point when the millions of fish that the Salton Sea now supports will not be able to make it. There is less water going into the Salton Sea these days, and so it is shrinking. Um, and uh, there is not going to be new water. As one of the, uh, the, the largest uh, remaining wetlands in California, uh, and very important to bird life, um, we absolutely have a responsibility to maintain those values. At current trends and with current agreements, if the Salton Sea doesn't find a new water source soon, um, about a third to half of the water going into it now would be transferred to other parts of the state quickly. And what would happen is the shoreline would recede quickly, and what that does is it really concentrates the salts, it concentrates the nutrients from fertilizers and from farming, and it makes it an area that will no longer be able to support a lot of environmental life. The fish would go in a few years, um, most of the bird species wouldn't be able to make it here. We'd lose uh, the beautiful wildlife refuges, we'd lose the state parks, and we would create some absolutely mammoth dust storms. We've seen this happen in a couple different areas of the world. Um, in the Aral Sea in Kazakhstan, we saw a gigantic body of water shrink really rapidly, cause a bunch of dust storms, decimate the economy, and the average life expectancy went down 10 to 15 years in the immediate area. Owens Lake uh, dried up because uh, LA took their water for drinking water uh, back in the 1920s. And as a result, uh, the dust storms that have come from that uh, lake bed have been uh, just tremendous. They're just unbelievable. They look like giant tidal waves of dust when the winds blow. And the problem with the Salton Sea is it's three times bigger than Owens Lake. It has a lot of nitrates and phosphates from agriculture that have gone into it. And Left in a watered state, they're heavy metals, a lot of them sit on the bottom, and it's still okay to swim in, and a lot of people do. But if these things become airborne, it's really bad for our health, and it would affect us in asthma, lung cancer, emphysema. This will affect all the way to uh, LA and San Diego on the coast when the wind blows that way, and uh, to northern Mexico, Arizona, 
The time for action is now. We don't have any more time. The air quality in Eastern Riverside County and Imperial County are some of the worst in the state because of all the dust that blows up in the air. People who live in Coachella and Imperial do not have the means or resources to leave those places and find other work or other housing necessarily. And so many times they're stuck with the environment that they have. And if that environment happens to be really dusty and poor for their health, then that's the lot that they're stuck with. Like, there's so many people like getting asthma, like actually dying of like these severe respiratory illnesses because of the salt sea and because like the pollution here, the air quality. The things that are causing asthma right here, I mean, even people say that those, like, it's kind of dialing down and it's actually being stable. That's a lie. Because right here, there's a lot of, um, I guess, legal immigrants. You know, and they can't really speak out because if they do, then they're getting, they're getting deported. There's a lot of families that don't have papers and they don't really go to the hospital. When they get sick, they don't go nowhere. They just, you know, try to, like, deal with it themselves. So I can honestly say that those numbers are wrong and there's more people being affected because we actually have some students that have lost life, um, family members due to, the, due to this, due to the fact that people don't care about us. Because as brown people, you know, people of color, we always knew what injustice was. We always knew what oppression was. This isn't anything new to us. Growing up here, I've lived here all my life. There's, I don't want to move elsewhere. I don't want to move where the air is pretty, where everything is so pretty all the time. I want this to be pretty all the time. I want where I live to be pretty all the time. We already have children, parents, families struggling to breathe. What's gonna become of them after the salt and sea dries up?